Hi guys, it's Brittany from the blog, The Beauty Revival, where we're inspired by home and the people in it. In today's video, I'm going to share with you how to make a super simple, easy DIY paper mache bowl. I've seen these bowls all over Instagram and Pinterest and I love them. I love how they have an old world feel to them. They look like something that you would find in a antique shop or at an antique sale and they're so easy to make. I actually was skeptical when I saw that they were paper mache. First of all, I didn't even know they were paper mache. I just saw all of these almost look like they look like ceramic or pottery bowls, white bowls everywhere, but they're paper mache. And I was like, oh, I remember my mom making paper mache projects in the 90s when we were little girls. I think she tried to make a paper mache pinata once <laughs> and it was a disaster. So I was really skeptical, but it is so easy to make. It's, it's almost silly how easy it is. And you can make almost any shape or style that you like. I made one prior to this video, so I'm not going to show you the one that I made today at the end stages just because it takes a couple days to dry but I'm gonna show you the one that I made a couple weeks ago that I've had in my living room and shared on Instagram and people loved it. So let's get started. I'm gonna show you everything that you need and how to put it all together. For this project, you'll need a bowl as a mold, two bowls that you'll mix your paper mache in. You'll need a roll of toilet paper, some saran wrap, a bit of salt, white glue, and some flour. So you're gonna start by unwinding your toilet paper into a large mixing bowl. And I like to use a large mixing bowl so I can fit as much toilet paper from my roll as I possibly can. And then you're going to cover it with hot water. Now the great thing about toilet paper is you don't need to use boiling water for this like you would if you were using newspapers that were shredded or white paper that was shredded. I just use the hottest water from my tap and make sure that I cover the toilet paper completely. Most of the tutorials I watched actually use newspaper or regular paper and you have to shred it. Then you have to boil water and cover it and let it sit for a couple hours to break down. That's why I use paper towel or not paper towel, toilet paper instead because it breaks down so much faster. So you can get working on your project within minutes instead of hours. So once you have it covered with hot water, you're gonna let it sit for a few minutes and then drain out the hot water, squeezing the toilet paper as you go to get out as much water as you can and put it in your second mixing bowl. Then repeat those steps again until you've used up all of your toilet paper on your roll. Once you have your toilet paper soaked and drained, you're gonna shred it up with your fingers and then add your other ingredients. These are approximate measurements, but for one roll of toilet paper, I used three tablespoons of salt, half a cup of white glue, and then one and a half cups of flour. Now you're gonna mix it all together and this will take a little bit. You're gonna knead it kind of like you would bread dough, breaking up the toilet paper and squishing in all of the flour, salt, and glue with your fingers. Now you're gonna take the bowl you're using as a mold and cover it in saran wrap, and then put it on top of a piece of cardboard or a trash bag so you don't get your paper mache on your countertop. Next, you're gonna start applying your paper mache in a nice even layer all over your bowl not too thin that you can see through your bowl and not too thick or it's gonna take forever to dry. And you actually might even get some mold if you have it way too thick. So make sure that you do a nice even layer and that it's thin enough but not too thin that you can see through your bowl. Once you have your bowl covered, you're gonna grab another bowl with warm water. You're just gonna add some to your fingers and start smoothing it over your bowl. With the paper mache using toilet paper and flour, you're still gonna see a lot of texture on your bowl, but this just kind of helps to even it out and give it a smoother texture. Now you can let your bowl air dry, which could take 
anywhere from three days to a week, or you can put it in your oven at 170 degrees Fahrenheit. And I just set my oven for two hours at a time and kind of work on it for a couple days and it will dry much faster that way. guys enjoyed that video we would love it if you followed along by hitting that subscribe button you can also find us on thebeautyrevival.com pinterest at the beauty revival and instagram at the.beautyrevival